What's going on everyone? Sunny here, as evidenced by my hands. Today we have JM Toys 112 Freeze action figure, AKA Sub-Zero if you know the license that they're going for. Now, first thing you're probably noticing is, Sonny, why don't you have any hands on him? Well, that's because the hands don't actually stay on his wrists. So he came with fists like this. Uh, right out of the package when I picked them up, or actually when I opened the package, the fists were already off of his arms and just laying loose inside the packaging with them. He does have plenty of hands. He has gripping hands of different sizes right there. He has two pointer fingers right there, or pointer finger, middle finger. He has a pimp hand right here to keep his pimp game strong. He has a scratchy hand in case he has to scratch himself. He got a crazy itch, he can scratch himself that way. He got a splayed out wall crawling hand if he wants to cosplay as Spider-Man one day. He also has his pointer finger right there if he's pointing at someone. And he has that one for both hands right there. The hands don't all exactly have a second pair of match, but he does have plenty of hands. Unfortunately, they don't fit on these pegs. I don't know, and it's not because of the gauntlets, because the gauntlets can come off. I actually tried to put the hands on those pegs without it, and I think that this just may be too deep of a hole for that peg you know the feeling when the hole is too big and you can't stick it in properly that's what this has issues with right here now if you notice here also these come slide down constantly so if you notice here he has these little knives here he has a cutout right there that actually fell off when i took it out of the package so it was not glued in properly and it just fell right off when i took it out he also has this little bandana piece that plugs into the back of his head right there. Uh, doesn't stay in very well, as you see. I got to stick one time, and then it came out immediately. There we go. So it can stick in there, but it is pretty, well, it's totally solid now. Now it looks stupid for saying that, but okay. So there you go right there. That <laughs> bandana sticks in there. He does come with two head sculpts. Makes no sense. It feels like I'm playing that Highlights magazine, spot the differences, because I do not see the differences really in these masks. You let me know in the comments what you see is the difference in these masks, besides possibly that little copper shading. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same head. And you see the little plastic piece right there for putting it on his neck. Now, the knee pad's also pretty uh, loose on him. The boots right there. He has hardly any ankle movement, as you can see right there. Here is what I hate the most about this figure. You mean, Sonny, what? You hate something more than the fact that his hands won't stay on? I do, actually. It's kind of weird. They put these black pants on him, but they have zero flexibility in them. So he can't kick. Forget doing a sidekick, forget doing the, the little slide, the ice slide that he does across the floor. He's not going to get those moves in at all. His legs do bend back like this. They did give him some flexibility as far as the was this Z axis, maybe. I don't know what the axes are. But he can't kick for anything because the pants are too tight. So if you ever wore tight pants, that's why. Look here, it's not even actually sewed all together in the pants right there. So. They gave him terrible pants. He can kick up about that high before it starts to affect his other leg. As you see there, he can only kick that high. The body is kind of terrible. I don't know why they use this one. Um, I'm not feeling it really. You see that big nasty cut right there. The good thing is I can probably salvage the pieces here and put them onto a different body. Maybe even just paint the body, the blank body legs black with these brown straps because these pants are not it right here. They could have used a stretchy fabric. Mez could use a stretchy fabric all the time. Uh, fat women use stretchy fabric all the time as well. So I don't know why they're acting like there's a shortage of it. Or maybe too many fat women had the stretchy fabric and now there is a shortage of it. But that's the figure right there. This tunic can actually come off of him. You can slide this piece out right there and pop that elastic over his arm and pull this tunic off. This you'll probably have to cut off if you want to take it off and then the boots, the swivels, you can probably pop those off with some heat. So I may end up doing that later on to salvage this figure. 
Uh, but as far as the accessories are concerned, I will give it props on that. The accessories are pretty nice. He has some ice weapons. It's an ice axe. This hammer here. They're built pretty good, I would say. So much better than what the figure's build is. And of course, the ice ball here. And then we have two of the ice daggers as well. So here's a weird thing. It came with this extra head. I don't know this bonus head that came with just VC Toys or what, but that's where I got it from, VC Toys. It's clear, but it's not this color clear. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense as to why this would be clear. Um, I get it, giving him the icy look. This is the McFarlane's uh, Iced Out Sub-Zero right here. As you can see, it is matching this color blue, not this random weird clear head that they gave. So... Kind of a bizarre feature to have. You know, like I saying, well, what about the Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero? Yeah, still not the same blue. This is just a clear head for some reason. So I don't know if you would want to paint this or what you want to do because you also have that big peg sticking straight up into the skull right there. So it kind of kills the illusion. Don't know what that's for. Since we had those two Sub-Zeros comparing them to, there's another Sub-Zeros. I believe this is Jazzwares. Sub-Zero from way back in the day, but it is kind of closely matching the look of the Sub-Zero. It's not the more classic Sub-Zero. Uh, here he is next to Unparalleled Universe Odious. So you can see he's a bit taller figure if you wanted to actually purchase this figure or if you accidentally purchased this figure and now you're stuck with him. Here he is next to Jada Toys Ryu, obviously a little bit taller. Would I like Jada Toys to pick up that Mortal Kombat license? I would love for them to do that. So if anybody from Jada Toys is listening, or I know no one's listening, but if they are, pick up that Mortal Kombat license. Do us all a favor. And then here he is next to Marvel Legends SDCC Deadpool. So like I said, he is a little bit of a taller figure. The blank bodies that I have are more of this size, so it's probably going to look a little bit bigger, but I think that'll be okay because the tunic will go a little bit lower between his legs. Um, that way, if he is butt naked, it covers a little bit more, keeps him modest for the general public. But that is the action figure, the freeze figure or frozen figure. He's named under several different types of names. Do I want this line to make additional figures not until they fix whatever is going on with them because this body is terrible this is not that tough to be knocking this down all the time you can see in there i have quite a few different blank bodies this is not one of the best bodies to use obviously you can pop that torso off right there and pull that off as well so i will be salvaging what i can from this figure and see what i can do with it but if you bought it, I'm sorry to hear that. If you have not bought it, you may want to stay away from it. It's not a good figure, unfortunately. I know a lot of us were wanting the 112 scale Mortal Kombat figures with soft goods. This doesn't quite hit the mark. So, and if anybody's like, well, Sonny, they tried. No, they didn't try very well. That's all I'm saying about it, okay? Actually, I'm saying more. Stop making these figures. Like, what are y'all doing? I don't know what's going on with them. But this is not a good figure. Like I said, the fact that they chose the tightest material possible to make a ninja is just a dumb decision by, in my thoughts. I don't know who, who greenlit this, but they should be fired. They should actually be fired and not even given um, unemployment benefits. But that's the figure right there. I would say stick around for pictures after the end, but there's not really much I can take a picture with of him except for maybe his arms doing this. Or maybe doing that, or doing this again, or maybe doing that again. His legs aren't going to do anything. I can't, I can't do anything with his legs. Look, he looks like Ray Gunn trying to do breaking in the Olympics right there at this point. So, again, that's the figure. There are much better figures to buy. If you can find it cheap to salvage these pieces, I suggest doing that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Y'all have yourselves a good day. Actually, you know what, because I like y'all. I'm going to show y'all right here. This hand does not go on. Okay, so I've taken off the gauntlet, revealed his little skinny arm, like when you take a cast off your hand or something. That's the hole. That's the peg. And it just doesn't catch. So I don't know if the peg is not built for this 
for these hands or what. Some people have said online that they like they got it and they actually liked it. Um, I don't trust their decisions. I don't trust their their uh, opinions. To be honest with you, I'm just kidding. Y'all opinions are valid to yourselves. But this is a not a good figure. I don't recommend it at all. Normally, I'd be like, well, at least they tried. No, nah, I don't think they tried very well. Like I said, the soft goods are pretty decent. So you can peel all those out right there. And look, actually, the body popped off. And I didn't even intend to do that. So there you go. Oh, awesome. It's attached to the pants. All right, so you can't just pop that off very easily. You're going to have to cut it from the pants, apparently. Kind of glad I did this little supplemental part of the video. Uh, let's see. Pull that off. See how easy it is to take this thing off. Might as well, right? Sure, let's do it. All right, so thanks for whoever stuck around to see this part. Sometimes I throw little supplementals at the end of the video, and I don't mean to, but I was like, ah, I gotta give you all that information. So that's what the top of the torso looks like. You can peel that up, most likely. Pop the head off. Dang, that is a long neck. All right, that's the torso underneath it. And let's see, slide this up here. Yeah, you can completely disassemble that. It's attached to these stupid pants. So you have to get like a seam ripper if you don't want to mess that up too bad and pop those seams and take those pants off or you just cut it and I'm pretty sure it'll be hidden once you put that belt back onto something. Um, I don't have hot water with me, so I won't pop off these legs. But I'm pretty sure you can pop off those feet, pop off those shins, and make your own figure. All right, so good luck building your own figure. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment. You have a good day. Okay, one more thing. Since I'm putting them back together, I was going to put the alternate head on to see if there was any sort of difference. Then I realized... The alternate head has a different size hole than the actual head that came on it. So you can't really put this on there. And I thought, well, maybe it's for the spinal cord because this pops on pretty simple like that. So I thought maybe it's for the spinal cord. Well, that doesn't fit. This one right here, it can fit. doesn't look that cool. Then I was like, well, does this head and this head is also the smaller hole. So they gave you two heads for extra heads for Sub-Zero that don't even fit the body. You would have to hollow them out or put a different ball peg on there. So just more issues with this figure. Sorry to keep interrupting y'all trying to leave this video, but that's what we have, unfortunately. So thank y'all again for watching.